Hi, it's Tim from Oracle Base. Dot com? Well, yes. In this video, we'll take a look at the online operation to move data files in a container database and a pluggable database. Prior to Oracle 12c, moving a data file had always been an offline operation. There were several ways to do it, each involving different amounts of downtime. In Oracle 12c, we got an online operation for the first time. If you've used this feature with non-CDB architecture, you'll see it looks similar in the multi-tenant architecture. We connect to the root container and check the data files that belong to it. Notice the con ID equals 1 predicate. We can see the data file for the system table space has a file number of 1. We perform an online move of the data file for the system table space. When we check the $VDollar data file view, we can see the metadata for the file has changed. If we check the host, we can see the data file has been moved from the original location to the new location. We move the data file back using the file number and the keep option. We can see the metadata has changed back, but we still have both files because we use the keep option. Let's remove the old file from the file system to keep things clean. If we use Oracle Manage Files, or OMF, we don't need to specify the destination location. We set the DB create file desk parameter. We move the data file specifying the source file name or file number. The $VDollar data file view shows us the new name for the file. We can move it back to a non-OMF location by using an explicit destination path. We use the keep option, but notice the original file isn't there. The keep option doesn't work with OMF files. We check the data files for the CDB and PDB. File 9 is the data file for the system table space in the pluggable database. If we try to move a PDB data file from the root container, we get an error. Instead, we need to switch to the pluggable database. Then we can move the data file. And of course, we can move it back. Remember, moving a large data file can take a long time, so you still need to consider the impact on disk I/O and avoid busy times. Thanks for watching. As always, there are links to articles containing lots more information about this subject in the description box below.